It is often said that nothing good comes easy. As one who likes to take the bull by the horns, true tough decisions, political activists in Anambra State say President Tinubu has a clear strategy to reform and revive the nation's economy through his eight-point agenda of food security, poverty eradication, growth, job creation, access to capital, inclusion, rule of law, and fighting corruption. If we take up the issue of anti-corruption fight by this administration, of course you agree with me that things have actually changed, that the government has now granted full autonomy to the EFCC to be able to carry on with its functions. Now, if we also look at the issue of uh, rule of law, you will also see that the government is working very, very hard with the judiciary to ensure that there is a robust judicial reform this time around. Yeah, I look at Polatinobu's uh, coming as a good time for Nigeria. Considering that uh, he is the first person who has sought presidency on his own in Nigeria and he came in and decided to confront the problems of the nature. That was why on the first day in, after his inauguration was wearing in, they confronted the issue of uh, fuel subsidy. While Nigerians were still growing about that, we confronted the issue of uh, all these uh, parallel uh, FS markets where people buy dollar at say 1,000 and sell at whatever amount they want. And since then, uh, Nigerians have suffered, yes, we have to admit that, because there's always pain in labor. And today you can see that uh, his economic programs, attracting of investors, agriculture, and everything is falling into pass. The Mr. President, the new agenda is a very welcome one. We are pleased that he has an agenda for the purposes of uh, restructuring and uh, you know putting new face into the administration of the country in the area of uh, in the autonomy of uh, EFCC that one is very vital the respondents who recall that in March 2024 federal government launched national talent export program aimed at improving foreign exchange of the country and creation of more jobs for the youths also commended the establishment of national job centers to train and equip people to be job ready as well as the recent flag off of food security and agricultural mechanization program in niger state to improve food production and supply across all states of the federation including anambra state it's on record that this administration is also making a force to create million jobs you know, under the digital economy. And you are, you are part of us here. When Mr. President uh, assented to the bill, the uh, uh, student's loan scheme, where now indigent students can now study, you know, without let or hindrance. I'm also aware that the government has done so much to dismantle the bottleneck you know, in the ease of doing business in Niger generally, irrespective of any sector. You know, I remember there was this uh, issue of the introduction of agric loan, of course, which has just been there. Uh, agric loans of different types and grants to farmers. And my prayer and my expectation is that if the state governors can join suit, if the state governors can leave the local government, third tier government that they are completely strangulated, the tickling effect of what the president is doing in the, in the federal will not tickle to the state and possibly to the local government. Acknowledging that difficult times are indeed temporary but the benefits abound, the analysts state that all that is needed from the masses is patience and prayers for those in positions of authority to make Nigeria better. Enoka, Chinyere, Fesi, Okoye, NTA News.